Known as Russia's Bavaria, the Chuvash Republic is one rich in natural resources. It's also famous for its well-developed agriculture and its tractor-producing company has brought its fame throughout Europe. However, the small republic with big potential hasn't managed to escape the global economic crisis. Well, we can now cross live to Stacey Bevins and get more on this. Good morning to you, Stacey. So tell us a bit more about how uh, uh, the economic crisis has affected the ordinary people there in Chuvashia. Sure. You know, Chavashians are characteristically optimistic, but there is a sense of insecurity as people who thought they had jobs, secure jobs, lost them or have been asked to work for less. Or as students who are soon to graduate are wondering what kinds of jobs are waiting for them when they're ready to get into the workplace. Now, Chavashia's economy is based on energy, in industry, focusing mostly on manufacturing, chemical production, and the distribution of electric power. But all business sectors are suffering and facing challenges as investors pull out and as demand slips. And here's a closer look at what the close-up team and I found as we took a look at the economy in Chavashia. Nestled along the Volga River stands the tiny republic of Chavashia. The vistas are beautiful, its people warm, but not everything here is idyllic as it seems. The region has been gripped by the global economic crisis. All business sectors have suffered with demand dropping by a third. Heavy industry is king in this region, but even here the crush of the crisis is felt. Prom Tractor is the only manufacturer of heavy-duty earth-moving equipment in all of Russia. The manufacturer strives to compete with more well-known entities like Komatsu in Japan and Caterpillar in the U.S. Maybe uh, the company you mentioned has got bigger name and bigger history, but uh, we are absolutely proud to say that we are at the same uh, or comparable level of technology. Once demand for these machines was high, but now orders are down and some foreign investors have called in their debts. This summer, Prom Tractor laid off more than 600 workers and forced thousands more to work part-time or to take unpaid leave. As a result, the government got involved, giving financial support to save Prom Tractor's workers from unemployment. But the company is still moving forward with research and development and plans to introduce one or two new models. Now this big boy is called the Chetra Heavy. It's 68 tons and has 650 horsepower. And I'm about to take it for a spin. Back on the ground, Chavashians continue to toil the land. Agriculture plays a central role in the economy. Whether it's raising cows or crops, farming makes up 14% of the gross regional product. For Alexei Lubov, working as a cattle breeder fulfills a childhood dream. I love animals. I really like cows. They have very deep eyes. When you look at them, you can drown in their eyes. That's why I really like to work with animals. He cares for 360 cows at the closed joint stock company Agrofirm in Olivskaya. There's no wrangling of cattle. Here food is brought to individual stations. Alexei believes cows that are treated with kindness produce the best tasting milk. Agrofirm produces two and a half tons of it daily. This is the milking station, and it's kind of like the Ritz-Carlton for cows. There are 24 stations, and the cows are in here for just a matter of moments. So while they're here, they're treated special. They listen to Nabashi music, they're able to relax, they're in and out in just a matter of moments, so and they can get back to being cows. The automated process is monitored by a computer. Chips embedded in the cows' ears track their health, whereabouts, and level of milk production. While the company continues to sell the same volume of product as last year, the economic crisis has affected it too, in the form of reduced prices and revenue. Though revenues are down in all areas of industry, Chavashia hopes to rebound by making modest investments in research and development and by adopting modern technologies. And joining us now is Tatiana Kyrgyzova. She's the the chief of tariff department of the Chavasha Energy Company. Thanks for being here. So tell me a little bit of how this economic downturn has affected the electric power sector. Yes, you know, a lot of companies all over the world went into recession in 2008, and of course the companies of national monopolies also face some difficulties. Um, one of the consequences of financial crisis for such kind of companies is a reduction of the electric energy supply. So it's resulted in 
um, reduction their revenues because, it's, uh, if you know, uh, such kind of companies are regulated by the government. So, uh, to, so they receive their revenues only for their tariffs, which the federal tariff service or regional tariff service established. So the government, first of all, aimed at protection of the interests of their um, end consumers and. Uh, I would say that government provides the moderate uh, uh, tariff, uh, growth in tariff rates mm -hmm. and to stabilize inflation. You know. mm -hmm. But um, I can say that um, under those circumstances, uh, those companies have to, con um, have to con uh, must continue to provide uh, uninterrupted and reliable um, energy supply to their customers with energy resources. Sure. They have to update and um, renovate their fixed asset, uh, have to meet their obligations before the government to realize their investment programs. So they, first of all, they have to reduce their operational expenses, first mm -hmm. of all, and if it's necessary to um, take a, a commercial credits to cover all their obligations, all their expenses. Okay. And you said that the government is pro providing financial backing to keep prices from skyrocketing for their customers. Yes. You know, because the higher power station is located in our territory, the tariffs uh, for electric energy resources were lower than, for example, in our neighbor regions. So, but uh, due to uh, reorganization of electric energy market, um, nowadays the prices, the prices of purchase, the such kind of resources in the wholesale market doesn't depend on the purchase of of its generation. So, to avoid the um, dramatic price rise in our territory, um, our um, uh, region really uh, uh, received some financial backing from federal budget um, to avoid the dramatic price rise. So we can face um, gradual uh, transition to the justified market prices. So our sales companies have to uh, have to purchase the energy in the wholesale market at high prices than uh, several years ago. Mm -hmm. So they have to sell uh, this energy at our market also at high prices. So to avoid it, we receive. For example, in uh, 2008, uh, 2000, 2007, our budget received uh, 917 million rubles. Mm -hmm. uh, in 200, or in 2008, our budget received more than um, 800, 800 million rubles. And this year, our budget received 325 million rubles. So it's a big support. Are you feeling positive about the, the upcoming future, the short-term future of the sector? Yes, uh, I think that um, in spite of uh, such kind of difficulties, those companies will have to conti will continue to develop because, um, um, you know, it's they are charged this um, trouble-free um, and supply their customers. They have to do it, so they have some obligations. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to brave the coal and join a, joining us this morning. And the close-up team and I will have a closer look, even further, into the economic crisis here in Chavashia. All right, Stacey. Thanks very much indeed for bringing us uh, the latest from this region. Stacey Bevan's reporting there from Chavashia.